Hey guys, I'm Anthony Nader with DeadOnHunting.com. Uh, this is part of our informational series on filming your hunts. We're a hunting media group and we've been filming our hunts for four years now and we've learned a lot over the years. Uh, so we're just trying to share that information with you. What I'd like to talk to you today is differences in lenses. These are for DSLR cameras. Uh, all the cameras we have are Canon, uh, so all the lenses will be Canon compatible. Um, if you're going to buy a DSLR camera for hunting, um, it's pretty much going to be for like B-roll footage, you know, secondary stuff, um, which gives you a really great look. All of the hunting shows are doing it now. It's a it's a really functional camera, the DSLRs, uh, and they range greatly in price. You can also use it for filming your hunt. It's a little bit difficult because it doesn't autofocus like how a standard video camera would, but you can get a great look and it's a great starter camera. Um, it's also a great camera to have when you've got a lot of money and you know, you're know you looking to get a high-end camera. So when you generally buy a Canon, it'll come stock with two different lenses. It's gonna have this uh, 18 to 135 millimeter, and that's a 3.5 to 5.6 f-stop. Um, there's this one, and then also it would have uh, an 18 to 55 millimeter, which just means it won't zoom out quite as far. I think this one is better um, for starting out, uh, just because you can zoom out you know, a little bit further. It's a, it's a little bit more expensive, but um, either would be fine you know with your first camera but this is you know the number one lens that I think that you need to have um, the functions on it uh, you've got your focus ring up front here um, and then your zoom right here the big uh, also right here you've got your autofocus and manual focus you should pretty much always be in manual focus um, because auto focusing you know with with the cameras capabilities it doesn't look good you know and it also sounds terrible when you're filming um, now as far as pictures go you can auto focus you know that's fine um, but when filming you definitely want to be in manual um, and then this lens also has image stabilization uh, or IS uh, as it always says on the lens so you want to make sure that that's always on don't ever have it off um, and that's really important to have on all lenses when you're fil uh, when you're filming. Um, this lens here doesn't have image stabilization, right? Um, it's just a 75 to 300 millimeter, um, and this is really only good for taking pictures. You would never want to film with a lens that doesn't have image stabilization because it would just be really shaky. There's actually uh, functions inside the lens that will s help stabilize your footage. Uh, the second lens that I think that uh, is most important is this little 50 millimeter Canon. This is a prime lens, which means that there's no zoom uh, capabilities on this lens. The only ring it has is for focusing. Um, and this has a an aperture of 1.8, which is really low. Um, and that's really good uh, because you can get a really shallow depth of field, um, and which looks really nice. And a lot of hunting shows are you know gearing towards that sort of look now. Um, so this one definitely, this is only like $150, uh, you can get this at Campbell Cameras, you can get all these at Campbell Cameras except this one, um, or, you know, Amazon or eBay, but this one definitely, I mean, if, if you can pretty much put this lens on there, not for, not for hunting, but just for filming secondary stuff, and never take it off, just, you know, leave it on. The only thing that you have to learn is, you know, how close to get to your subject, um, because at 50 millimeters, that's a little closer than I think what our eye generally sees. So you just gotta back up a little bit. The third lens I like to talk to you about is this Rokinen. This is kind of a cheaper lens. Uh, this was 300 bucks, um, and this is a wide angle lens, which is a great secondary shot to get while hunting. Um, you know, you can get some great footage, some great shots with this. Um, this is also, it is a prime lens, and this is a 2.8, 14 millimeter. So this one is a 50, you know, if you're, you're gonna have to back up if you're trying to get close to something, uh, or you'll get, you'll be too close. This one, you know, you can get your lens really close to the object. Everything behind it can be blurry just by, you know, this focus ring here, or I'm sorry, the aperture ring going down to a 2.8, which is pretty low. So this is a nice lens to have. Um, any wide angle lens, I mean, you get a Canon one, you're gonna be spending a lot more money, but 
Uh, those are the, the three different lens types that I think that are, are great for uh, filming your hunt. What we'll show you now is uh, a different shot that we've got with kind of the benefit of using each one of these lens, the 18 to 135, the 50mm prime, and then the wide angle 14mm uh, prime. Okay, so here I am out on Lake St. Clair with the 18 to 135mm lens. Uh, I'm just zooming in on this rod and reel and doing a little bit of rack focusing. Uh, get right from the rod down to the tip. And here we are uh, with the big catch of the day, 51 inch muskie. And moving on to the trophy shot. What a fish. And this is the 50 millimeter prime lens. Uh, we're doing a little bit of turkey hunting here and I'm just pulling back in and focusing on the LCD screen of the big camera. Kind of a cool shot. And three guys in a turkey blind means you're getting a pretty tight shot with a 50 millimeter lens. And last but not least, we have our 14 millimeter super wide angle lens. And we're just making some venison sausage here before, during, and after. And doesn't that look good? Filming and hunting. Filming and hunting. Gotta love it. Now, if you're watching this video and you saw my shirt, Death by Broadhead, uh, we've got these on sale at our website, deadonhunting.com. If you don't think it sucks, go check it out. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Thanks a lot.